light? Well, light, I think, is knowledge. Knowledge is love. Love is freedom. Freedom is energy. Energy is all. Without any doubt, without light, we can't have any images. It's called Deshima Musa because it's nourishing itself from the other nine Muses, from literature, from painting, from dancing, from philosophy, from sculpture, from architecture. Uh, only when you are... Cinema is really today the, the, an art form that combine all the different art forms. I was lucky that my father has a, a beautiful dream. He was a projectionist in a very big company in Italy in the 50s, Lux Film. Uh, Lux Film. And uh, he was dreaming probably to be part of the image that he was screening. Uh, so he put uh, uh, his dream on me. This was Vittorio Storaro, even at my beginning. When I started, I was, nobody knew me, nobody, um, you know, uh, saw myself compared to what I did before. Um, I think that you should be always yourself. Uh, from when you start, from when you are in the journey, or when you think you reach one specific place. That's part of your personality, part of your way of thinking, part of your way of doing. Um, Many times, um, yes, young cinematographer telling me, you can do that, or maybe refuse the project, or maybe do uh, one selection in your life because you are now this kind of person. I always did that. I mean, uh, I remember that on the first film, Giovinezza, Giovinezza, and I was doing um, tests uh, uh, for actors, and we were like more or less your crew. A small crew, we were working, in a very simple way, and um, just try to understand what the movie is supposed to look like. And uh, somehow I find myself uncomfortable for what the director asked me to do. And I was forced to do it. And at the end of the day, I was 28, I say to him, goodbye, I don't think I come back tomorrow, because I don't think you need me. You need some, someone to just put one light, just let you see whoever's in front of you, not in a particular way that you want to see this person. So I don't think I come back tomorrow. I was married that, um, two years before. I, we already have one daughter. My wife was expecting a child. And we had only $50 in bank. And I say no. So after the discovery of this great emotion like blue in Paris, in the conformist, I felt that, that uh, I need to discover even deeper the, the possibility of this vibration, the, of this color. So many other movies that I've done after The Conformist, several one, I tried to use uh, this color to investigate in the possibility of this color. Till they get in, in, a, in a Last Tango in Paris. And I remember that I was going to see Bernardo every weekend in Paris. And I was so astonished about uh, uh, the chance that Paris, a city in winter, have all the lights on, was uh, like a city light. And the artificial light, when it's on during the daytime, is a kind of conflict between the artificial energy and the natural energy. It was giving me the feeling totally different, almost opposite, complementary of the blue of the, last, of the conformist, and orange, like the warm feeling, the kind of womb of the mother of the city of Paris that was embracing ourselves. We can put the light over here. We can put here. We can put here. We can put here. We can put just in front or in the back. Change completely. And the way that any cinematographer is uh, using this kind of light can tell really a story, can write with light. But there is only one thing that never changes, the idea. The idea 
doesn't matter if you do on, 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 on stone, on, on, on wood, on canvas, on films, or in electronic, the idea is the one that really stays always because it's energy, because it's part of ourselves.